Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. And now, let us bow our heads in a moment of silent prayer. Bannister's the one with the mourning band on his arm. I wonder what he meant about seeing him right after the funeral, or else it might be too late. We'll soon know. been shot. Shot. Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. to the proofs is something wrong doesn't make sense you mean the why i mean the how 20 people witnessed a shooting including the district attorney and not one of them heard a shot or saw a gun flash phone it's scanlon is the scrambler on yes yes frank i have to see you Britt. something just came up on the banister case good i've got the coroner's report here the slug they took out of the victim is 17 caliber. 17? I never heard of such a gun. Nobody has it until now. How soon can you see me? Make it a half hour. I'll be there. Mike, Mr. Reed's busy. This is important. There's a dame on the phone, young Bannister's girlfriend. She says she knows who killed him. She's afraid she's next and wants to get out of town. She's on the phone now? Right now. For 2,000 bucks, she'll tell us her story. Transfer the call from Mr. Axford's line. Make the deal. Hello, Miss Cameron. You've got a deal. Meet me here at the office. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, make it 11 tonight. Uh, we put the paper to bed at 10.30, then everyone leaves. I'll be here. With the dough. Go down to the cashier and draw 2,000. Now, this is more like it. Just like the old days when I lived in the same building with you and your father. Your pa, rest his soul, was running these. I remember once we paid 5000 to an axe murderer. Oh, okay, Mike. Wait, th I'll get him, get him out.
ballistics has come up with something more on that gun. During World War II, the OSS had a silent and flashless gun invented for use behind enemy lines. And this must be one of them. Well, that was my first reaction. But I checked further and learned that the OSS guns were all 22 caliber and they're all accounted for. But there's one thing that ties in tight. James Bannister, Dave's father, was a retired gunsmith. I've got something that ties in even tighter. Dave Bannister's girlfriend is ready to talk. Hello? Yes, Miss Gates. What? When? I see. Thanks. That gun's been used again. What? A messenger for a brokerage house carrying $5,000 in negotiables. He was killed in a crowded elevator, and not one of the passengers heard a shot or saw a flash. Well, then the Bannister killing was just the beginning. They can have this whole city at their mercy. We better find that gun and destroy it fast. Let's hope there's only one gun we're after. Yeah. Cato, get the Black Beauty ready to roll. Thousand good ones. Talk now, pay later. What? The Green Hornet? What do you think? Take it easy, miss. We won't hurt you. All right. There's four thousand dollars in there. For what? That's twice as much as your deal with the Daily Sentinel. Who killed Dave Bannister? How'd you know about that? I know about a lot of things. Why do you want to know who killed Dave? I want the gun. It's that simple. Who has it? I'm telling you would be putting it in worse hands than it's in now. <laughs> Come on now. If you were clean, you'd go to the police, not the Daily Sentinel. That money means my life. I've got to get you away. Tell me who has the gun and your life is guaranteed. By me. You'll do that? I will. You have my word. And this. Well? Joe Renner. He killed Dave. You know him? He works for Al Trump. A cheap hood. With his fixed fights and his rowing crap games. Why was Bannister mixed up with him? It was my fault. I insisted we have $2,000 in the bank before we were married. We were both working. We were putting away a little money each week. Oh, but it was too little and too slow for Dave. So he tried to make it grow with sevens and elevens. Lost all your savings and then tried to get it back. How did the gun get into it? Dave told Trump about how his father had invented it. He offered it to him in exchange for his IOUs. Then Dave stole the gun from his father? 